Well, good morning, guys. I have a couple projects today I was going to share with you. I am going to clean out the pots you see on the bottom of the stairs later, and I have some hyacinths that I'm going to finally pot up for over the winter and see what they do in the spring. But I was surprised this morning with a project that I wasn't expecting. Well, I guess that's what a surprise is, right? Yesterday afternoon, I heard a noise in the kitchen, and I didn't, like, kind of, like, um... I don't know, like background noise. I thought it came from outside because I had the window open, you know. There's always cars and stuff and action going on. So I it didn't I didn't consider it, you know. So I got up this morning to get a coffee cup out of my kitchen here. And uh, one of my glass containers had totally just like spontaneously shattered. So I had nothing but broken glass shards all over the place in here. And so six o'clock this morning, I had to empty everything out because there was so much glass. Um, I don't know the science. I'm sure there is a science for it, but whatever. All I know, it was a headache this morning at six when all I wanted was some coffee. So what ended up happening was I had to hollow everything out, everything, because I don't know what had glass on it. So I dumped it all out, but I had to wash it because I didn't know if there was any like broken glass powder, you know? So, yeah, that's been my morning project. I still want to wash these at this point because I washed everything else. I even got the dish loader going. Everything. So, yeah, I'm going to dust these down and I'm going to mop the floor. And, yeah, that's how my morning started. I'll catch up with you with, you know, a project I consider to be a little bit more fun. The Hyacinths. The one good thing about this broken glass project, I guess is um, I got to clean out my closet and I had found down here a whole thing full of Tupperware that I never used. So it went straight out in the garbage, you know? So it's been worthwhile. It's given me a chance to kind of do a winter, whatever, spring cleaning and everything's clean. I can see what I have and what I need. And it was really, it was really nice to get rid of that crap. And I like that. I like that feeling of knowing everything is like clean because I haven't like, you know, washed the whole closet, emptied it out inside out since I moved here. And I've been here like six years. So anyway, anyway, there, so there was a plus, really was a plus. All right, let's get set up here. Okay, guys, well, this doesn't need a big introduction. I've got high sense, I have a pot, and I have potting soil. So I'm just going to get to it, and maybe I'll give you a little music to listen to. Watch me go. <laughs> Some of the bulbs were beginning to get green sprouts again and that's because of our weather it doesn't surprise me we've been having some really cool temps down in the 40s and 50s and so they're probably thinking it's a little bit of their hibernation stage and then we turn around and get up into the 70s again so our weather's been teasing them i'm not i'm going to ignore all of that i'm going to just stick them in here and cross my fingers i am going to make sure that they get some moisture because I, I don't want them to dry out, but they certainly don't need a lot. Just pay, you know, every week or to, so, whatever, every week or so, <laughs> I'll just check on them. So, I have to figure out where to put them. I'm probably just going to set them right down next to here because it's an open spot, you know. See, come look. I could just tuck it right over there. If I feel it needs more protection, I can move it back over here, you know, but I'm going to let them grow outside, so they need to be exposed to, to some degree, right? Anyway, project number one complete.
what I'm going to do is empty the holes into this hole right here. There's a hole right here next to this rack, a low spot, so I'm going to dump those there. see most of it that's not in the shadows over there that's where I'm going to place the purple heart so I'm going to take that one on the sand here and I'm going to plant it right in that spot there so oh so that's it for today I've got my projects done that I wanted to so anything else is gravy now <laughs> thank you for watching guys you have a great day So, yeah, you just watched me clean up all the plants, all except for one. It was Bob in the window, huh? The reason I decided to let this one go is because it's still looking super healthy. It's still blooming. So maybe I'll get another week or two out of it. It looks pretty sitting here on the corner in the meantime. Anyway, thanks again, guys.